Finally, my boy Lloyd is getting again some action. Damn, so dirty. It reminds me of something. I cannot put a hand on it. Oh, this anime has amazed me to turn me into a detective. The foreshadowing for Yuri's request was so great. In the beginning, Anya even said that they will kiss and both knew that they would need to convince the brother. As the fandom approves it, comment, do it, do it, do it. If you also are a person of culture, the approval is due to Lloyd's and yours pre-established chemistry. For example, how both in unison reject Anya's claims of them flirting or kissing. Just think about it. Twilight can be such a player. Makes James Bond run for his money. Because he has been in dozens of relationships. And we see him dating Karen. Even getting hints about making love with her. But the spy gets too overwhelmed. Shy by having some hand on hand action. Or thought of kissing your. It might seem so inconsistent. For him to turn from a mega chad to a virgin until you remember the ancient proverb What matters is to climax mentally Yoru son Yo. What makes these actions meaningful is the mental aspect like perceived intent feeling towards the other person without it is just a physical contact which does not tickle Twilight's pickle. That is why they have no problem, for instance, taking Anya's hand in public. As Professor Schmexy, I conclude that Lloyd and Yor are so much attracted to each other that they climax just by touching, if not only from words. Both have been mentally so close by directly expressing admiration, attachment, but avoids physical intimacy due to being inexperienced with real romantic relationships and much more used to friendship, sibling-like bond, which they default to. Basically, being outside the comfort zone is too overwhelming, that is why they fall back to known, otherwise they would have been fighting in the bedroom, and this time Lloyd would be the one who penetrates. We also see the theme of sacrifice from various angles. On the one hand, it empowers giving extra drive such as Yuri being able to carry so much weight to protect sis. On the other, the person might feel more justified to commit toxic behavior. What terrible things he has done in the name of love, higher goal. Briar's siblings are terrifying in this regard and make you question, do the ends justify the means? Is your a good person by killing dangerous terrorists? What about a politician who betrayed their country for West Alice? Where is the line? And that is one way how to write great villains. You can see the complexity by understanding and somewhat resonating with their motivations, but the means to achieve them is too heartless because their line is too far from the acceptable. Great examples are Loki, Killmonger, Thanos from Marvel Cinematic Universe. Still, they have nothing on my arch nemesis, the algorithm. So to fight it, please make a sacrifice by liking and subscribing. This complexity also manifests into duality of public and secret identities. I so much love that Twilight repeats the manga's intro. Everyone has a secret self they do not show to other people. Not to friends, not to lovers, even not to the family. They hide who they are and what they want behind lies and pitted smiles. And thus, the world maintains its thin veneer of peace. It is so appropriate regarding fragile peace between Ostania and Vestalis, built on trickery and maintaining lies for a greater good. This shows why 
why sometimes a good emphasize a gray worldview, not black and white, where the truth is always good and lies are bad. Also, I try to be as honest as possible and expect the same from other people. There are cases when I have tried convincingly why. My rule of thumb is to do it for other people's sake, not mine, and if I cannot find a better alternative. I usually do it for example to save some nerves for a person who cannot take any more bad news. Also, I disagree about the extent of lying, that for peace sake we must lie to everybody, because by lying constantly we are, for example, ignoring poems instead of solving them, instead of giving valuable feedback so the other person can become better, we are making a blind spot for them, which can cause them problems in the future, a whole another can of worms which I will not open, like once trust has been lost, it gets much more difficult to cooperate. I love how again continuity has been kept such as Yuri's broken ribs or Lloyd with just a stare warning you not to drink. Or how the author builds up the tension with all introduced peace, naturally escalating conflict. It brilliantly adds an additional layer to their meeting and further interactions. The created cat and mouse game is so ironic, two-sided. Yuri wished to expose Lloyd at all costs, not knowing that the most dangerous spy is under his nose. Meanwhile, Twilight wished to use Yuri's brother as a source of intel. We can see that the author has researched realistic tactics used to get a confession. Initially, torture is used. Luckily, it is shown not to be effective. In real life, it is a very ineffective method because the person will tell what they think the torturer wish to hear. An innocent person even will admit to being guilty just to stop the pain. Of course, unless they are hardcore masochists, add uniform fetish and they are golden. Yuri's tactic to confront uh, about evidence was much better. But the best way is to make the interrogated person feel relaxed. Be friendly gaining trust and show the crime in the best possible light. What the interrogated said was a great example. You just needed a little extra money. You were not to hurt anybody. All you did was give them a few scraps of paper. It's not like you are revolutionary. So. If you were to help us catch this guy, maybe we could make all this go away. Change to a female interrogator who is ready to do anything for confession and cooperation, and we have a setup for an adult movie. Also, Twilight sees through the cover story being a worry of foreign affairs, which again is a real life stuff because many diplomats turn out to be spies. And his idea to turn Yuri into a source of intel is not so far from what really happened. Part of Spice was just drinking buddies who took advantage of a relaxed environment and the target not being sober. We also see the results of Twilight's training. His initial impulse, instinct, is like a normal person. But... What makes him different is his response to the stimulus. Lloyd also discovers the power of tangential learning. The less popular cousin of gamification. Basically it means teaching through the lens of something that a student loves. That is what I am doing. Talking about psychology through the lens of spy family. It was so amusing that Yuri believes that Lloyd will protect you from a nuclear bomb and felt bad that he cannot, or your genius explanation why she did not mention being married for a year. I forgot. She so masterfully played the fool card and Lloyd's expression to it. <laughs> Although emotionally brain parts can indeed override logical. In Yuri's case, he commented on what scatterbrain yours is, which is her pre-established trait, 
and the reasoning makes some sense. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment pros and cons of lying. How you got a climax from a great conversation.